I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is Tommy Tuberville, U.S. Senator for Alabama. Senator, it's wonderful to have you here, or should I call you coach? No. Thanks for call joining me. Call me either one. I'd rather call a coach. But coach. It's great to be here. See all the computers. I thought it was all people, but it's mostly computers. Here. Well, we got a lot of people here, too. Yeah. <laughs> so, Senator, coach. Late, late Thursday, the Senate passed a bill to raise the debt ceiling for two years. Talk to me about your vote and what led you to that decision. Well, I voted no. Uh, went back and forth on it because we don't need to default on our debt. But uh, we're also in bad trouble spending all the money we're spending. We've got to be uh, physically stable in terms of how we spend money. And we're spending way too much money every year. We've got to find ways to cut back on it. I was hoping we'd be around a trillion dollars in raising the debt limit but we raised it four trillion in the next, for the next year and a half. That's way too much money. The American people don't deserve that. We're spending too much money. We're, we'll be 32, 33, 34 trillion dollars in debt. How are we gonna pay that back? Uh, the taxpayers are gonna have to pay it back. Uh, our kids and grandkids are gonna be in trouble having to pay all that back. And we gotta watch inflation. You know, we just went, we, uh, inflation has been going up, been going up uh, since the Biden administration came into office. And because we spent five and a half trillion dollars we shouldn't have. Now we're gonna spend close to four more trillion and uh, it's gonna help a lot of people, but it's also gonna hurt a lot of people. So I voted no, hopefully we'd have a more sensible bill. All right, now coach, you have a diverse portfolio serving on four different committees, mm -hmm. armed services, agriculture, veterans affairs, and help, which is health, education, labor, and pensions. What do you see as the greatest challenges facing the United States? Well, we've got a lot of challenges. I think uh, one of the emergencies that we have is mental health. Uh, I'm on the Health Education Committee, and, and uh, we have got to do something about, about mental health in this country. Uh, we can't afford not to do that. We've, we've got to put money into, into mental health. The next is education. I came from the education field, being a coach, mm -hmm. and I've seen over the last 15 years how we've lost a lot of our education in the country. A lot of our kids can't read and write. When they get out of school, they get a degree uh, from high school, but they're not proficient in reading and writing. And that's what this country was built on. It was built on the backs of kids that had an opportunity to do better. This country owes you one thing only, and that's an opportunity to achieve what you want to achieve. And the other is being on Armed Services Committee. Uh, our number one adversary is China. And we've got huge problems with China. They're stealing everything that we, we come up with, that we make. Uh, they have all these apps that we're into to where our kids are on that they, they're taking all of our data. Uh, we've got a huge problem with, with them in the Indo-Pacific of pushing on Taiwan, uh, threatening. Uh, to go into Taiwan. President Biden says we're not going to allow that to happen. So we've got to build up our military for a uh, possible fight uh, that's not on land. It's more going to be more, you know, in the Pacific. And that's a long ways away from us. So we've got a lot of problems in this country, but we still live in the greatest country on the face of the earth. Uh, we know we, we know, know that for a fact, but we need to keep it that way. And so we need to put some answers to some of these problems. All right, now on the House side, Chairs McHenry and Thompson introduced a crypto market structure bill on Friday. Um, you've introduced legislation around crypto access in 401k plans. Is there anything else you're interested in addressing in the space that you're able to talk about? Well, first of all, uh, the, the 401k, uh, I, I truly believe that American people, you make your money, you, you should be able to invest in what you want to invest it in. And, uh, we're having problems in that area. So we're, we're pushing that to where American people, if they want to invest their 401k and their pension plans or whatever, they want to get into to crypto, uh, let them do it. I, I think it's going to be here, going to be here for a long, long time. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see there. But, you know, this is a free country. You can do whatever you want. And um, we're also fighting some, I've got some uh, uh, bills that I'm pushing uh, to kind of block China. They're coming in trying to buy our uh, crypto exchanges, uh, which is very, very concerning to all of us because anything that they buy, they always end up with our data. Uh, and data is going to be like the energy of the past. Data is going to be uh, power. And so anything that China does now, uh, whether it's an app, whether buying exchanges, whether buying farmland. Uh, Ten years ago, they only had like 12, 13,000 acres of farmland in, in our country. Now they, they're moving up close to 400,000. So 
data is very important for our country. And again, like I said, it's power. Uh, you know, it's the energy of the future. And then, of course, anything that China can do to move in on us, to take advantage of us, because they know that they want to be the number one superpower of the world. Uh, the best way for them to do that is to push us on everything they, they possibly can, and they're surely doing that. All right, well, Coach, Senator, wonderful to have you on Floor Talk. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you, thanks, thanks for allowing me to be here.